From a robotic arm to a smartwatch that measures blood pressure, a host of innovations have been put on show in the Libyan city of Zliten. <laughs> Dozens of young Libyans took part in the annual science competition with Yasin Al Tuwati scooping the Libyan award for creativity and innovation. The engineering student presented his prototype for a 3D printer. <laughs> While that is not a new invention, Tuwati says it cannot be found in his country. This invention is not new, but I can say that it does not exist in Libya at all. And it is very important to have in every school and university because it is very useful. I hope to develop it further in the future. For example, the product created can be made out of plastic so as to recycle plastic waste. Initially, 100 teams submitted their ideas, but this was narrowed down to a third. <laughs> Among the other inventions on show is an invention that uses the internet to determine levels of soil erosion and an automated fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> Professor and competition founder Maher Oraibi says he hopes the competition will find solutions to everyday problems in Libya. All the projects we've seen today are very relevant and touch on the reality of our current situation in Libya. Some of the projects truly amazed us. For example, the winning project of a 3D machine and the second and third projects all represent the reality of a society, our real problems. We have started to think of them and think of finding solutions to them. We want to break out of the traditional method of teaching in the educational system and instead we want to provide our schools and colleges with clubs where ideas can be shared between students so as to come up with distinct ideas. Despite how limited resources are, there is creativity as you have seen through the prize and the exhibition. The contest aims to highlight the talents, abilities and innovations of young people with the potential of providing support from either state institutions or private entities. It is organized by Libya's Higher Institution for Engineering Technology.